Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. So you guys probably saw me remove the front bumper to remove the front grill. I was running the WRX Daily carbon front grill for a couple years now. Uh, and now that I'm bringing the car back to stock to sell it, I uh, ended up selling off the carbon grill. That was actually the last piece of carbon and uh, kind of aftermarket mod on the exterior of the car, minus the wheels and the brakes and everything. But overall, all the extras with the carbon and all the gurney flaps and everything around the car has been removed and is completely back to stock otherwise. Uh, and what I needed to do was actually find an OEM replacement. Now, believe it or not, people were charging like $300, 200 to $300 for an OEM grill. Completely ridiculous. Those things are probably worth 50 to 100 bucks depending on the condition. Uh, and everybody was just asking too much for them. So what I ended up doing was find a really nice aftermarket OEM solution. So this literally looks exactly like OEM. It's the same finish and everything. It has the um, little camera cut out, but it comes with the block off plate. So I'm really impressed with the quality. It has a nice gloss black. Also on the rear, it has all the same clips and screw holes and everything. So it's a really, really nice piece. I'm happy with it. It was only like 94 or $100 or so. So I figured instead of spending $300 or so on a used, you know, beat up OEM one, I figured I might as well get a brand new OEM style um, looking grill. I did a quick test fit on here just to make sure it's worthy. I don't want to make this video and put it in and just be really terrible fitment, but it literally fits exactly like OEM and I'm really happy with it. So I figured I would show you. Now there was other versions of this, obviously like the JDM style, which doesn't have these kind of center bars in the middle of it, but I wanted to be as OEM as possible, you know, when I go to sell this car. So I figured I would get the OEM style. But what I'm gonna do is add a few goodies to this grill. I'm not just going to transfer over the stock badge and everything. So I have been running the gloss black uh, rings with the black and white emblems. I've been running these for years. I have one on the rear as well. So we're going to be installing it on the grill like that. Gonna put some new double-sided tape on the, on the back. I'm actually gonna remove all the old one. And I also have a gloss black STI badge, which I have been running, which I'm going to run on the grill in this bottom section here. Um, kind of hard to just hold in the place right now, but it's gonna look something like that. It's still gonna have an STI badge there. Again, I've been running this for years and it's just, it matches the rear, so everything looks nice and clean, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the grill kind of ready. So I'm gonna get all the badges on there and then we can head over to the uh, bumper get that on and can finally get the bumper back on the car uh, and get that all set up. I've been dying to drive the car and it's been about a week or so since I've removed the uh, carbon grill and I haven't been able to drive it since there's been a bumper laying on the ground. Granted, I could have driven the car without a grill, but I don't feel like taking it on and off. Um, so now that we got everything that we need, we can get the bumper back on the car and I can go enjoy the car. And uh, yeah, so let me go ahead. Let's get the grill all set up and then uh, let's head over to the bumper and get it on the car. All right guys, so we got the grill ready to go. The STI badging and the uh, gloss black ring and badge are on there. It looks really good. So now we're simply just gonna put it on the bumper. It's just a, uh, I forget how many screws it is. I think it's around eight. There's actually some clips on the bottom as well. That's going to go right into the holes on the bottom and um, should everything should line up pretty well. So let's go ahead and slap it on. All right, so as you saw, simple as that, the fitment on this thing is fantastic. Honestly, it fits as good as OEM and uh, there's no gaps or anything. Everything clipped in perfectly and it looks really good. And uh, with the gloss black wheels and the gloss black grill, I think that flows very, very nicely. And uh, I'm really happy with the look. It's funny when I had the OEM style grill, I actually had the JDM style with this bumper at first and I had the OLM carbon trim around there, which looked awesome. Um, you know, I got tired of that look and then I went to the full carbon look and then now that I'm back to this one I actually prefer this one now so it's funny how things change once you kind of experience them and you had them for a little while but uh, I think this looks really good personally if I were to keep the car I would just add the carbon fiber trim around the uh, exterior or the outer part uh, again because I really like that look I thought it looked really clean it wasn't too much it was just a nice touch of carbon and the piece fit really well it's actually even have a full carbon so they have the outer as i mentioned and they also have carbon to go in the middle as well which would be a cool look if you wanted to keep the uh, oem style and i'm really happy with that for 94 bucks or whatever it was uh, i don't think i could be more pleased with the fitment and the overall finish 
And like I said, it has a little camera hole there. So if anybody ever wanted to add the front facing camera, since I have the 2018 MFD in the car, um, you can do that. You simply just come around to the back. The little camera just fits into this little spot. As you can see, you just take off that screw and then there's an opening there. Pop this the, uh, little camera in there and you are set to go. So yeah, so the bumper is finally back to stock. As I mentioned, the exterior is all back to stock. All of the carbon and everything has been removed. But if anybody is curious to know, a lot of people ask me anytime I show the front bumper or changing grills or anything, uh, the badge is by SMY Performance with the gloss black ring. The STI badge down there is by GCS. I got that from Subi Speed years ago when I went to the 2018 plus bumper. Actually on my stock bumper, my 2017 bumper, I actually removed the red STI logo and I also removed it on the trunk as well because I'm kind of like a badgeless kind of person. I really don't like a ton of badges or, or logos around the car. I think it just looks a little too busy and just, I don't know, too in your face. So I actually removed that. But, but when I went over to the new style bumper, this one, uh, I got a gloss black STI badge just to kind of, you know, it be there, but not too in your face. It's not too noticeable, but it is there. So if people are looking, they'll know it's an actual STI and it's not, you know, the red, even though the red looks really cool. Um, but it's funny, I was thinking of how many different grills I've had on this car. I've had the 2017 stock grill. Then I went to the 2017 JDM style and I had a carbon trim on the bottom. And then I went to the 2018 plus bumper and I went to the uh, JDM style grill with the carbon trim. And then I went to the full carbon grill and then now back to this one. It's pretty crazy how many times I've actually changed a grill on this car. Uh, you know, you don't really think about it, but when you start reminiscing and thinking back on everything, <laughs> it's pretty insane. But all right, let me go ahead, kind of clean up over here and uh, get the bumper back on the car and see how it looks. Actually, I just realized before we put this bumper back on the car, I'm gonna go ahead and ceramic coat it. So the entire car is ceramic coated as you guys know, but uh, what I'm gonna do is just throw a quick layer uh, of C-Quartz Deluxe on here. It's for plastic and wheel protection. So I've used this on a lot of stuff. Um, I've used this on the trim pieces on my truck. I use it on my calipers and wheels and everything, and this is plastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw uh, one layer on here. My other one, G-Technic CSL and XOV4 that I have up here, which the paint on my car right there, uh, which the paint on my car actually does have. It's fantastic, but it takes a long time. Uh, you have to wait two hours between each coat and everything. So I'm just gonna throw one layer on, just on the outer parts. You know, I'm not gonna really get on the uh, inner honeycombs or anything like that, but um, just to get some protection on there and um, you know, kind of match the rest of the paint and have everything protected and looking good. So let me go ahead and throw that on real quick. I just do a time lapse and then we can get it back on the car. All right, so we got it coated. I ended up doing all the little honeycombs and everything. You guys probably saw it on the time lapse. I just couldn't leave it alone just because I was there and uh, you know it didn't take that long. So I figured might as well just get in there as best as I could and uh, get some type of coating on there just to keep it nice and clean and uh, looking as fresh as possible for as long as possible. So, all right, that is done. So let's go ahead and finally get it back on the car. And uh, yeah, let's we'll see how it looks. All right, guys, bumper is back on. Everything is put back together. The car is exactly the way that it is going to sell. Uh, the one thing that I am still waiting on is the driver's seat, which you guys can't even see, uh, but I still have the Recaro in there for the driver's side. I'm waiting on uh, someone to actually part out a car. Um, somebody locally, they have a driver's seat for me, so once they get that out, I'll be able to swap it out and uh, I'll be able to store the Recaros. I got one over there, the passenger side going to store them and use them in the next car, uh, but I'm still waiting on the driver's side. But otherwise, that is it. And uh, the car looks great. I mean, obviously, I still think it needs a front lip. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick one up. I said I may pick up a uh, Poly CS style lip, the Basin R, the one I used to run on the car before I went to carbon fiber. And uh, just to throw it on there because I think it looks a little goofy without it. Plus, um, you know, it offers some bumper protection and all that, but there is the grill. 
it looks great. I really do like the gloss black, but getting the outer uh, trim in carbon would look really nice as well, which I've done before. And even doing the bars across as well um, would look really cool. But yeah, every single time I uh, put a new or an OEM part back on the car, it just kind of makes me realize how cool this car is without going overboard. You know, as I've been parting it out and making videos and everything, and people have been seeing the transformation of this car since, you know, the way that you guys have known it, uh, everyone still says the car looks great, which I completely agree on. And that just goes to show you that you really don't need to do too much to this car in terms of the exterior. This just has some wheels and coilovers to make it look like this. Otherwise, on the exterior, everything else is stock. I mean, granted, the brakes are, you know, not OEM, but still, if you had a 2018 Plus, you still got the really nice, uh, you know, six pop Brembos up front. Um, but, oh yeah, and these are not stock. Those are the Subi Speed JDM sequential turn signal uh, fog bezels, but I mean, honestly, you really don't need much. Uh, you know, in my mind, I was like, oh, maybe I'll do a few things, make, bring it back to the point where I would want it and, uh, you know, enjoy it a little bit more, but I'm just happy with the OEM kind of look. You know, it's been modified for so long that it's nice to see such a simple uh, exterior without all the fluff and everything. I have been driving it every once in a while. Obviously, it's been a little bit since the bumper has been off, but when I have been driving it, I feel less stressed in a way, <laughs> you know, just because there's not so much stuff on the exterior. I'm not so afraid of something happening, you know, to the carbon lip or anything like that, or the really expensive Volks. It took some stress off my shoulders and I don't feel as overwhelmed driving the car. Something about the OEM look on this car just kind of takes the box for me and uh, just looks really good. But again, I still think it needs a lip. Now, as I mentioned, I'm still waiting on the driver's seat. I will update you guys once that comes in, uh, but I have some truck modifications coming in. Morimoto lighting, as you guys know, is my favorite, or what I run on the truck. Um, this is a boost bar. This is a really cool little light that actually increases your reverse light. I'm gonna show you how to install that. I'm also waiting on the new Morimoto Gen 2 uh, XB LED taillights. I currently run their V1 version, but they just came out with a V2, which looks very, very, very good, better than the ones I have on now, at least in my opinion. Uh, it looks very, very OEM, but LED and, and just much nicer. Um, so I'm gonna be installing those tails once those come in and the boost bar I'll be doing a video on that and updating you guys and everything But as for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really liking the new look I'll link it below for you guys if you're interested. It was just on eBay I think it was like 94 bucks got to me in like two or three days It's much better than spending 300 bucks on a stock grill that you know This fits just as well and uh, honestly it looks just as good So if you guys have any questions at all be sure to ask them below But in the meantime keep it clean keep it simple and I'll catch you guys in the next one